This is five. Five is perfect. All right. So now, next, we need the dough. We need the dough. Okay, guys. Without the dough, we ain't got no show. <laughs> Damn, I can rap. <laughs> without the dough, you ain't got no show. And without no show, you ain't got no dough. What is up, you guys? And welcome back to KTV, guys. Welcome back to another video, and in this video, as I promised you guys from the previous video, I'll be cooking something really, really nice, and I'm gonna show you what I bought, and then I'm gonna tell you what I'll cook, all right? All right, so what do we have here? We got flour, plain flour from Tesco. I actually tried to buy from Centra. Centra's a, another shop that's close to me here. See this right here, Centra. I actually tried to buy from this shop, but they don't have plain flour, which is a little bit strange, but it's cool. We got beef right here. This is really, really important for what we're going to cook, especially in this video. This is really important. This is the most important thing that we need. And of course, finish this for something else. Uh, spices here, curry powder. We have chili powder. And we have another type of spice here. I don't know what this is exactly, but apparently it smells really, really good. All right, and of course some lemons. We got beans. That's for something else as well. And coconut milk for something else as well. And of course, this is it's a box for toothpaste. Not that important. All right. So in this video, guys, I will be cooking an Indian. It's not like a snack. It's really food. All right. It's called paratha. That is actually one of my favorite Indian foods out there. Like even on my gaming channel. If you guys don't know. I have a gaming channel. If you're new to this channel, I have a gaming channel. In the gaming channel, I actually named the character Paratha, Mr. Paratha. So that was inspired by this food. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so let's have some fun, guys, and let's cook Paratha. So we're going to start with this one first. So we need to cook uh, this beef right here. One second, I need to switch this on here. Uno momento. One second. This video is going to be super long, so. Hope you guys are excited for that. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe, like, turn notifications on, and comment down below. All right. All right, let's see. It's not switching on here. Oh, okay. This is the problem here. Look at that. I need to switch this on. Hold on. There you go. All right. Boom, bada, bam. So you see this? One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Am I wrong or am I right, guys? Is that the right way? <laughs> Wait, this is for this. Wait, let's let's see. I remember. Yeah, this is here. Hundred percent. I remember. Let's see. This one should turn red. One second. Oh no! Look at that. So this is for this, and this is probably for this. Wait. Nine. Wait, 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 guys. Okay, bro, I'm tripping. So this is for this. This is for this. Guys, this is a little bit strange. And this, okay, let me switch this off. I don't want this place to be hot. I mean, I would like it to be hot, actually, because I'm not sure if this heat is working, bro. It's been a little bit. Okay, they're not working. It's not working. It's not working. All right, cool. Um, Let's see. So I need this to be on. Is it this one? Should be this one, All right? Wait, there you go, finally, okay. Let me switch this off for now. All right, boom. So, but nine, wait, 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 nine will be too much, I think. Let's put seven. Now I'll use a little bit of oil, just a little bit. Oh my God, just a little bit of oil. All right, guys, a little bit of oil. Um, this is olive oil, but it says refined, but it's okay. Uh, let me put the camera somewhere, guys, because I can't hold the camera while I cook. It's not going to be convenient like that. I hope you guys can see me, and hopefully you can hear me as well. All right, guys? So if it's your first time watching this channel, be sure to subscribe, turn notifications on. Welcome to KETV. You guys will get to see so many cool things on this channel. Trust me, guys. I'm not going to limit myself. I'll do everything and everything, everything and anything in real life. All right? So I'm going to put a little bit of oil here, just a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. That should be enough, I think. I don't need too much because this meat 
is a little bit fatty and I don't need to cook with too much oil because it's not healthy, all right? All right, so while the meat is cooking, wait, first of all, let me put the meat in, first of all. All right, guys, I'm going to be cooking paratha. It is one of the best foods out there. It's super healthy, actually. You can make it with meat, you can make it with veggies. Super healthy, super nice. I'm actually excited because I'm pretty sure we'll go to India. Hopefully very soon, probably during the summertime. And uh, yeah, I'll just explore India and see how you guys uh, live there in India, man. I really love India. In fact, I never showed you guys. One second. I can throw trash right here. Look at that. Pretty cool. Yesterday I ate McDonald's. You guys watched that video. I'm pretty sure. All right, cool. So, let's see. All right. Now, I don't cook. Sorry. I don't cook with onions. I don't like onions, guys. I could use onion powder, but I don't have it here. Wait, let's see. I don't think we have anything here. Look at that, guys. This is what we have, really. I mean, it's an Airbnb, so I mean, what else to expect? And the lady told me I could cook the eggs. Um, I, would, I could use this foil and stuff, but mm, it's just coffee, really, and vanilla. Nothing really special. But this place is really, really nice, guys. If you ever travel to Kilani, just let me know, man. I could hook you up with this place. It's super nice, super affordable, too. But you gotta get it through me, all right? If you don't get it through me, you're gonna pay so much money. Trust me. <laughs> I think the oil now is a little bit ready, so I'm gonna just put all of it because uh, we're gonna make two parathas. This is paratha kima. All right, kima means meat. Okay. All right. I think this is too much heat, guys. Oh my god. I need to switch this on, but I hope you guys can hear me if I switch this on. I hope. Can you guys hear me? I need to scream. I hope not. All right. Now I'm not frying this. Okay, guys. This is not frying. It's just cooking it properly. Oh, let me show you guys. Sorry, sorry, guys. Let me show you. Alright. I'm just cooking it right here. The boy could cook, man. I could cook. Trust me. If you're a female watching this video, you're like, oh my god. I like you, but, you know, can you cook? I can cook. I can cook everything and anything, guys. Even the food that I don't eat, I can cook. Really, that's who I am, man. Like, I think it's like, sorry. I think it's, uh, it's just in me, man. It's in my genetics, bro. I can literally cook anything, bro. And I'll be cooking so many things, bro. Hope you guys are excited for that. Leave a like on this video. Okay. Right, let me throw this right here. Alright, while that is cooking, let me put it to five. I don't want it to cook faster because we gotta make the dough. Remember, we're making paratha. Now, paratha, we gotta make the dough first. Take the meat. Put it in. Close it. Roll it. And then you kind of fry it, but you don't use a lot of oil. Just a little bit, a little bit. All right. All right. For, the, for this beef right here, as you see here, I gotta put the camera far away because it's pretty close. This moisture is gonna get into the lens. Uh, so for this one, I need to put some spices. I think we have sugar. So not sugar. <laughs> we have salt, sea salt, which is pretty nice. Much healthier. Sorry, guys. This video is gonna be super raw. Uh, okay, I can just put it right there. Alright. Oh, okay, look at that. You see that? Well, I don't like it like this. I like... Ah, okay. I'm dumb, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's keep... Pouring that. Okay, that's enough, I think. Oh my god, this place looks a little bit messy. I'm Ronaldo. Looks a bit messy. Sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's clean that up a little bit. All right, let me get the other spices that are right there. Okay, I need this curry powder, this one, and chili powder. That's all we need really, we don't need too much stuff, guys. You don't need to put a lot of spices and stuff. You don't need that, man. I wish I had turmeric though, I really like turmeric. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put just a little bit. Let me show you guys, just a little bit. Look at that. Boom. There you go. A little bit of that. I'm gonna put it right here for now. Oh, I need to open this one right here. See this? And this. I need to open this guy. So one second. Let's do this guy. This is gonna be a long video, so I hope you guys like this. Alright? If you wanna see more videos like this, as I told you, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. Alright? 
We're now, I think, at around 75 subscribers, which is pretty cool, man. I honestly, I never expected anybody to watch my video, guys. It's been a long, long time. Ooh, god damn. Oh my god, this one's gonna be a little bit spicy. Alright, that's enough. I'm not gonna put too much of this. Alright, that's enough. This, I'll put it right here. And finally, this one right here. See this? Aromat. I don't even know what is uh, what this is, man. I mean, it's spices, but it says free from artificial colors, free from artificial preservative, which is good, right? Anything that's natural is pretty good. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna put this in, guys. It smells like sh crap. It smells like shit. God damn, nah, nah, nah. It smells like crap. I think that'll be enough, guys. All right, let me get the, the stick rubber, okay, not this one. There's a wooden one. One second, guys. Uno momento, this is good. All right. So now what I need to do, let me show you guys. Hopefully you can see me. I just gotta mix this up a little bit. Just mix it up. Oh, actually, I'll put an egg as well. I'll put an egg for sure. It's gonna be super nice, guys. I love paratha. Actually, when I went shopping, I was looking for, you know, like those green peppers, red peppers, but, but like frozen. Bro, they don't have them in Tesco. They don't have them in Centra. I can't go all the way to Super Value. Super Value is close to where I stay, like at the hostel and stuff. I'm not gonna go all the way, guys. And it's raining outside too. So, mm -mm -mm. no, 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 guys. I think this will be still tasty. It's gonna taste nice. The paratha is really good, guys. I love it. It's too much carbs, obviously, because of the dough and stuff, but this is just once in a while, guys. You shouldn't eat this food every day. You know, I love Indian food, guys, so much, but the only problem with Indian food is you will gain weight. You will be fat faster. Even if you work out, you will gain weight. Believe me. Well, unless you're running 10K every day and working out like, like a professional bodybuilder, then probably, yeah, you might not gain weight, but still, nah. It's not healthy eating every day, all right? So just once a week, once every two weeks, one, two times a month, whatever is cool. You know what I mean? It's all about discipline, guys, really. If you're disciplined in anything, nothing is poisonous, all right? There's nothing poisonous in this world. It's only that when you start abusing something, that's when it becomes poisonous. You know what I mean? All right, let me show you guys what we have here. See this? All right, so while this is cooking here, slowly and slowly, we're not gonna rush. Let me put it there. This is five, five is perfect. All right, so now, next, we need the dough. We need the dough, okay guys? Without the dough, we ain't got no show. <laughs> Damn, I can rap. <laughs> without the dough, you ain't got no show. And without no show, you ain't got no dough. That's how it is, bro. You know what I mean? All right, so, actually, I need to put this. Oh, okay, perfect. Perfecto, look at that. This is what I needed. All right, guys, I'm gonna take you right here one more time because we don't have a lot of space here, okay? So, now this will be simple. You put the flour here, all right? I'm not gonna cook, I'm not gonna put too much because uh, it's just only for me. I'm a single man, so I ain't got nobody. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, this should be enough, guys. This should be enough. I'm not sure we'll take this stuff, because tomorrow I'm leaving this place. Where will I put this stuff? I can't cook at the hostel, guys. You know what I mean? It's crazy. If you're in Ireland, if you're an Irish person watching the video, man, hook me up with an apartment or something. I'll really appreciate it, man. I'll really appreciate it. So if you're from Ireland, and you got like a free apartment somewhere. I don't mind any city, guys. I'll move anywhere, man. Really. Uh, so let me know in the comments, all right? Or if you guys want to support your boy, just let me know, man. I'll give you my PayPal, all right? All right. So we got this right here. This should be. This should be good. I think this is too much too. I think, but it's okay. All right. Okay. So I need to boil water. It's very important, guys. If you want your paratha. Make your chapati to be soft. You gotta use hot water. Very important. Very important. This is very clean, man. Look how this is what I love this place. Super clean. Look at that. 
doesn't have that white stuff. I forgot the name of those white stuff. What are they called? I forgot it, man. Jesus Christ. What is the name of that white? You know that white stuff that gets stuck when it's, uh, when you boil the water? What is the name? Jesus, I forgot the name. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Anyway, it's cool. What is the name, guys? Let me know the comments are shaking on. I forgot the name. Now, we're going to put water in here. We don't need to put too much water or else it's going to be like a pancake. <laughs> we don't want to make a pancake, guys. Alright? We don't want... We only want to make parata. One of the best, in my opinion, one of the best Indian foods out there, guys. Alright. Boom, bada, bing. This is blue right here. That means it's warming up slowly. I don't like white bread. I don't like bread, guys. I only like chapati. Now, chapati is kind of like a bread, but it's not bread. Hey, guys. Alright. So, I need... This one's cooking here. One second, let me... This will be a raw video guys. Minimum editing as possible. Okay. Oh I forgot the egg. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Help me. Help me. This one egg is enough. Really? There we go. One second. I wash my hands, so my hands are very, very clean. But this is this is what I'm gonna eat. This is what I'm gonna eat, so. I have to make sure my hands are very clean. Right. There we go. Let me wash my hands a little bit. Gordon Ramsay has nothing on me, bro. I can outcook Gordon Ramsay, bro. Believe me, guys. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But really, Gordon Ramsay is not really the best shit about being on here, bro. He's just, he has a great personality, right? But uh, in terms of cooking, I don't know. I've never been to his restaurant, so if you guys have ever tried out food at Gordon Ramsay's restaurant, let me know. If it's good or not, let me know. I wish I had those peppers, man. The yellow, especially yellow pepper. I really love yellow pepper, man. Super nice, super healthy. Yeah, it's all good. It's actually my first time cooking since summertime. Can you imagine, guys? It's madness. So never take advantage of what you have, guys. You know, if you have a small place you're living in, you're like, oh my god. I have a small place. You never know what could happen, guys. No one saw what's happening in Ukraine, right? No one expected it. It just happened, you know? Anyway, I want to talk about politics and stuff. Alright, let's mix this up here. I think I'll reduce this to four. That should be good. Now, the dough, right? We need salt. The water is ready, perfect. I can't mix it with my hands because it's super hot. I'll mix it with a spoon. Alright. And also I'll need a little bit of oil. Oh my god, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, where's the salt? It's right here. One second guys. I wish I had someone to record me, man. It'd be much easier, guys. But it is what it is, man. Well that's enough really. Don't need to push too much. Okay. And then you just mix it up. Let me show you guys. Just mix it up. Oh my god. Just mix up. Mix it up a little bit. Slowly. Just so that the salt can be everywhere. Alright. Boom bada bing. I think you guys get the point. And also guys, try and cook the same thing and let me know in the comments, alright? Really, I want you guys to make a video. Make a video about this. Okay? And just tag me. Alright? That would be pretty cool, man. Make parata. Ooh! Jesus Christ, look at that. Oh, uh, alright. I also need, uh, sorry, I need hot oil. Just a little bit of hot oil. I can put it in the microwave. Just a little bit. Okay, guys? A little bit. I like this cups right here. They're really nice. If I had enough money, guys, I would buy this apartment. Really, it's it's perfect. Like this city is perfect if if you just like peace. You don't like you know that life like in Dublin. You know what I mean? Craziness, up and down, craziness. But, you know, in Dublin there's a lot of craziness. So good craziness and bad as well. But I like this kind of life here, man. It's really nice. All right. So see this right here. 
this is all. Oh, just a little bit, guys. Just a little bit. Look at it. It's nothing, really. But this will be very, very important in making the chapati, sorry, the dough, which is kind of like a chapati. It's going to be smooth, medium hard. Yeah. All right, so now, this I'm going to put it right here. Uh, we got this right here. This is ready. Just need to start putting a little bit of water. See this right here? Hot water is very important, guys. If you want your chapati or your dough to be smooth and soft, not smooth really, but soft, you got to make sure you put hot water. Well, it doesn't have to be super hot, but you have to put more than just lukewarm. No, a little bit warmer than that. So that way, I'll just mix it like this first. Once it's a little bit cooler or warm, I can use my hands and go in. You know what I mean? You gotta go in, man. You gotta go deep. <laughs> All right, guys. I can't do this with one hand. I need two hands. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the microwave. The microwave is behind you guys. All right. So let's add more water. You gotta be, you gotta do this slowly, guys. Very important. Don't rush. Take your time. Slowly, don't put too much water. It's much better if you put less water, then you can add more. Then putting more water, then you gotta add more flour and it's not gonna turn out good, in my humble opinion. Okay? So always take your time. Don't rush. When you cook, take your time. That's why you gotta prepare yourself. You know what I mean? If you want fast food, get fast food, it's fine, but there's a consequence for that. Uh, let me check this as well here. This is the meat. In India they say keema. Keema is actually Swahili as well, which is interesting. I can speak Swahili guys, we didn't know. Can you imagine I can speak Swahili? That's a secret. Alright. Only for the people that are watching this video, the whole video, they will know that I can speak Swahili. And if you actually know about this, don't comment. Just let people watch this video. If they know, they know. If they don't know, they don't know. Alright? Alright, uh, I need more water. Just slowly. Okay, guys? No rush. Maybe add a little bit more. But not too much. That becomes like a pancake. I think I put too much flour, guys. But it's okay. Actually, I'll make the extra dough, I'll make chapatis. And I'll eat the beans. Because parato will just make one parato, maybe two. I'll probably just eat a half of it because it's too much, guys. It's too much. I don't want to be fat. You know what I mean? That's the only thing that I don't want, guys. Don't want to be fat. So if you're fat out there, I'm sorry if I'm saying that and it's offensive. I don't know if it's offensive, though. It's not offensive, really. If you're fat, you're fat. I mean, I was fat. I'm not ashamed of saying it. Right? It's life. So if you're overweight, don't eat this. Seriously. Well, it's too good. It's too good, guys. It's very, very good. Very tasty. But, uh, it's too much carbs. Okay? Too much carbohydrates. So, you gotta be careful with it. Alright, so I think that oil is ready there. And, uh, I think I need to use my hands right now because it's becoming a little bit sticky. So, that means we can go in a little bit. All right, let me take the oil, guys, one second. See this right here? The oil <coughs> right here. And I learned this from my auntie, guys. My auntie can cook pretty much everything, man. You know what I mean? All right, let me show you. See that? That wasn't even that much oil, guys. So little. This stuff will not really affect you badly like that in terms of your health and stuff. So don't worry guys. Yeah, you see that it's now forming into a dough. But I need to use my hands now. But I gotta be careful because it's still hot, you know? Oof. God damn. Okay. Yeah, I think I need to use my hands now. I need to go in. We're good to go now. Alright guys, this is it. Let's get in. You see that? Just do this. Ooh. Okay. Go in. I use my two hands and then psh, psh. All right. It's gonna take a while. That will come out really nice. I promise you, man. This is how you make soft, soft.
of dough. Okay, you don't make crackers. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're back. So, I think the meat is ready pretty much. Well, let me taste it. And I think the dough as well is good to go. Do you see that? Now, this is another secret. Of, well, I think I told you guys before, but now you should do the same thing as well. Just need to check if it sticks. Look at that. Clean as a whistle. If something's stuck here, if the dough stuck on my hand, if the dough stuck on my hand, that means it's not ready, but look at that. Really nice. It's gonna roll really, really, really easily, man. Look, perfecto. You know what I mean? Alright, so I think we're good to go. So what we need to do now is pretty much easy peasy little squeezy, really guys. Um, I need to switch this, wait, not switch it off. I just let it like that. Uh, and let me just close that and uh, switch it off. Let me switch that off. Okay. And now we'll switch uh, this one. Which one is this, guys? One, two, three, four. I think it's this one. Now let's see. One is this one. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, you see that? Mm, 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 mm. Now we're going to put it to five. And I'll take another pan. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's right here. Sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry. Okay. But this one's a little bit bigger, but see the size of this? And you see this? So this should fit, I guess. I hope. Yeah, it should. All right. Let me put you guys here. And now, we need to roll the dough. Okay, guys, we need to roll the dough. Now, usually, for me, right, I need to test the dough first. So I'm gonna make a small chapati, just to taste it, to see if it's, it's too salty or less salty, and then I can make the paratha, okay? And also, it's very important, guys, if you're making the paratha, make sure the meat is not too soupy, like, you know, the soup shouldn't be too much. And if it's too much soup, it's gonna be very hard to roll the paratha. It's gonna be super hard, okay? That's a good tip right there. Alright. So let's do this. Uh, let me just take a small right here, small. Let's just do that. Let's keep rolling it. Gotta be fast, guys. Gotta be a little bit strong. So if you're young, you gotta tell mommy or daddy to help you. I think you can do it, it's not that hard. Alright. See that? Look at that. Boom. Spank it a little bit. Hey, come here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, and then, of course, I need flour. This is very important, guys. Now, I don't have that pan. Not pan. What is it called? That board. Right? Where you can put the, the dough and roll it and stuff. Don't really need that, guys. I mean, I clean this place. It's super clean, so it's all going to be good. All right? Just a little bit. If you guys can see. What I'm doing here, all right. And also, while this is heating up, I need to put a little bit of oil, a little bit of oil, okay, guys. Just like that. You don't need to put too much oil. Remember, we want to be healthy as well, all right. Also, we want to make the chapati and the paratha cook properly. So, well, a little bit. That's not that much, really, to be honest, guys. Yeah. There you go. That should be enough, but let the pan heat up a little bit. Let me put it to seven and then I'll reduce it. Because I don't want to burn the chapati. Eh? Alright. And also, got this roller right here. It's really, really, really important. I mean, you could take a bottle if you don't have this. Fill the bottle with water. Any bottle. It could be a plastic one or something like Oh, this one is not really nice. Like any bottle, really. Any bottle, really, guys. It works. Okay, and just roll. Alright, All right, so let me just push this to the side a little bit. And then you just roll. That's it, pretty much. Easy peasy. Look at that. Alright, it's been a long time since I cooked, guys. A long time, but your boy still got them skills, man. It's in the jeans, man. You know what I mean? Alright. Now, the shape, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of people like, oh yeah, the shape, the shape, it doesn't really matter, man. You can make it however you want to make it. 
it doesn't really matter. Trust me, guys. I don't want to make it too big because the pan is not too big. That's enough. Look at that. It's a chapahe. Nice shape. Now I gotta wait for for this oil to heat up a little bit here. Or else this is gonna take a while. I usually test to see if it's salty, if it's tasty, if it's not tasty. You know what I mean? Because I'm gonna be putting meat here and then closing and then rolling. So I have to know. Okay guys? Because the meat is pretty good. Actually let me taste it. One second. Let me taste the meat. I hope you guys can hear me. I hope so. Because I'm screaming, but there's no one around here, so it's good. So I hope you guys can hear me properly, okay? Uh, let me taste the meat here, guys. Let's see. Mmm, I like Wallah. Wallah, this is so good. Mashallah. <laughs> this is so good, guys. Mm. You know, the problem is, I don't want to start get used to eating like this. Because if I start eating like this, oh, I will never stop. <laughs> I will never stop. So, alright. This is just once in a while, okay guys? Alright, that should be good. Let me wait a little bit, guys, because I don't want this pan. So, not pan. Now, uh, this uh, chapate. Chapate. To not cook properly. Uh, let me just put it in. Yeah, but usually the first chapati, that's how it is, man. You just get a wait. And also, this is a slow cooker, really. It's not really fast, you know what I mean? It switches off, switches on, switches off, switches on. So, the heat is not constant. Alright? Now, when it's doing like this, see this, guys? Sorry. When it's doing like this, you gotta put a little bit of oil on top. A little bit. A little bit. Okay? It's very important, or else the chapati might come out a little bit strange, guys. You know what I mean? Alright, just a little bit. Let me show you guys. See this? It's very hard recording and and cooking at the same time. That's not much. That's not much, really. Okay, guys? Just a little bit. I need to have a spoon with me here. And then what I do, just do that. See that? Just spread it everywhere. Now you start seeing bubbles come up. When the bubbles are coming up, that means the chapati is cooking properly there. Okay? And why do I put oil up here? So that when I turn it around, it can cook properly as well. Because one thing about dough is it takes up a lot of oil. You know what I mean? It eats up a lot of oil. So you gotta make sure cooks are properly that's why you shouldn't eat a lot of this stuff guys it's not I mean it's healthy but it's not the super healthiest foods out there you know what I mean this is just you eat once in a week that's what we used to do when I was a kid we used to eat this once a week can't eat this every day you know what I mean now we check a little bit you see it's still not ready that's the problem but you you find but you find you see this a little bit ready here but it's still not ready that's the only negative thing about cooking with this type of uh, cookers here it's electric cooker you know but it's okay it's not really something negative I think I'll need to put more oil yes I have a little bit of oil here okay uh, let's see um, oh wow ah, there you go what are you gonna make well, you see what happened only here cooked here not really that much, but so I'll turn it around. Okay, I will turn it around. Right, so let me put you here. The only negative thing about cooking this kind of food is you need oil. Now, oil will cause inflammation too much, it will cause inflammation in your body. So, you have to be very careful, guys. Okay, so very, 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 very careful. That's why, as I told you guys, I only eat one paratha, that's it. I don't want to eat two. You know, because this meat, I think I could make, I can make three parathas, like chunky ones, you know, you got good meat inside. I love meat, guys, I'm not vegetarian, man. If you're vegan, I'm sorry. I must say, I'm sorry. I love meat. So, I'm not a bad person if I love meat, okay, guys? So, yeah. 
if you're vegan, let me know in the comment section, guys. I, I can actually cook some vegan stuff as well. I actually eat vegan stuff too, so it's not like I don't eat vegan food, you know? So let me know if you guys want to see me. Actually, this is what my auntie used to do. She used to take all, put a little bit here, and just like this. See that? Now, when you see people in India cooking, they don't cook with this kind of cookers. Man. They don't cook with electric cookers. And it's not because they cannot afford them, it's because it doesn't cook that well. It's not the best. You need constant heat. You know, otherwise, you see this right here now. It cook but not really like that. So, I gotta turn it around and make sure the other side is is uh, cooked properly too. You know. I think this will come out good. It's been a while guys, it's been a long time since I cooked man. It's been a long, long time. But the boy is back. Expect to see more videos. Okay guys. Make sure to subscribe. We're almost at hundred subscribers, which is pretty cool man. To be honest I'm really excited. Trust me guys. I'm really excited man. Good enough. See that? This is a good chapati. Now, one other important step, guys. Once you cook this chapati, you gotta make sure you preserve uh, moisture in it, or else after a few hours, it's gonna be like crackers. Okay? So you gotta preserve moisture. It's very, very important. Like crucially important. Like you have to. Okay. If you want your chapati to be like crackers, cool, no problem. If you want chapati to be soft, when you cut it like that, it's smooth and soft and delicious. You gotta do that. All right. Boom, bada bim, bada boom. You got a chapati. In fact, I might take this part and make it as a separate video, making a chapati. See that? <laughs> easy peasy lemon squeeze it. Wow, look at that. Now this is one thing you want to know if it's a good chapati. Look at it. See? Mmm. And also another thing, I could just take this. It's too hot, man. Come here, take a little bit. Man, I can't show you guys. I don't have five hands. See that? <laughs> I take this and eat like this. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I've missed this food, bro. Mmm. Wow. This was supposed to do. Chapati, close it. Very important, guys. It's very important. You gotta preserve the moisture. If you don't do that, you're gonna have crackers. Alright, this thing is getting a little bit warmer. Let me put it to seven. I need more oil. So now, we're gonna make the paratha. Okay, guys? Paratha. This is gonna be super duper nice. Promise you, man. Now with the right need to put just a little bit extra oil. Because we're gonna use because we're gonna use more dough. Not like a chapati. Chapati just a little bit. A little bit more. But still not that much. Okay guys. Alright. See that? Uh-huh. Boom bada bing bada boom. That's been covered up properly. The pan is covered with good oil. So now I need to do the same thing that I did before. But this time around, we're going to have a much bigger dough. Okay, guys? Much, much bigger dough. Because we need to cover up the meat. Okay. Alright. See the dough? Super nice. I actually need to put this close to so it can be warmer. Now it's going to be too warm. So, I need to... I need more. Take more. See that? In fact, even this is not that much, really. Let me see. Now this should be enough. And you do the same thing. Now, this is how I cook, guys, okay? Some people might cook whatever they cook differently. Like the paratha, you might cook it differently. You might cook your chapati, 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 however you want to call it, differently. 
This is how I cook. And it works for me. And it's super tasty, super nice. Super nutritious as well. If you don't eat too much. Okay, guys? Don't eat too much of anything. Too much of anything is poisonous. Too much water is poisonous, guys. Can you imagine? Spank it up a little bit. Yeah, we're good. Now, this time around, I'll just roll it like that. I won't roll it uh, completely because we gotta put meat in between. Okay, guys? That's very, very important. This is crucial right here. This is what makes a paratha and breaks a paratha. You know what I mean? Alright? You gotta give it this a little bit space. The good thing about dough is it just, if you prepare it properly, it just goes smoothly. Look at that. You see, it's heavy. This is not chapati, this is heavy. Probably not. Now, what I do is, hopefully, you guys can see me. What I do, I take meat here. Oh my god, this thing is burning. Okay, see? Right here. Meat right here. I can put more. Because this is a thick, very thick dough. But you don't want to put too much meat as well because um, it might break. Okay? Uh, this is good. See this right here? Hope you guys can see that. There's meat inside. So there's so much space. I think I need to add more meat. You know. Let me add a little bit more. I could have added beans in this. Uh, and this meat here, the, the mincemeat, but no. And then you just close it like that. Hope you guys can see me. Okay, you can see me. Oops. See? You just close it like that. Easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Boom, bada beam, bada boom. And then what you do? Guess what you do, guys? Let me know in the comments. You roll it. Now don't roll it too much. As I said, you got to be careful. You don't want the you don't want the the meat to come out. See? So you got to be careful. Now as I said, this is how I cook it. Homemade. Oh, see that? I think it's already too much. Oh, oh. So this is gonna be a little bit tough, guys. Okay, it's still there, it's still good. Now, this is enough guys, this is enough. I don't want to roll it more, it will break. Check this out. See this? It started to break a little bit here, but it's no problem. Close it like that. Close it like that. Now I need to put it in the, in the pan. Now this is going to be challenging because usually, last time when I cooked in Ukraine, I had a like a board where I could put this and just now this is gonna be challenging because hmm. I mean, you can do it guys. You can do it. Ooh. That's too hot. Boom, see that? Don't break. Boom, there you go. See that? Let me show you guys. See? That's pretty much what the paratha is really, but you can put veggies as I said, you can use meat if you like meat. There's different variations. Alright. Different variations if you like this, you like that. That's the beautiful thing about this world, guys. Okay? That's the beautiful thing about this world is you got different variations. If you like oranges, you can eat oranges. If you like apples, eat apples. If you like paratha kima, eat paratha kima. If you like paratha veggie or however you call it. You can eat that, okay, guys. So only eat one, and the rest of this I'll make like two or three chapatis, okay? Because right, I have one of my friends actually who's coming. She's coming, or he's coming. She's coming over. I'm not sure if I can record it. Hold on. She's actually my ex. <laughs> uh, you know, so she likes chapatis as well, so she can eat this if she wants to. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Oh, I'm not sure if I can record it. 
Oh shoot. Alright. Yeah. So it's cooking in slowly and slowly. Now as I told you, the same thing applies to a chapati, the same thing applies to a bread. Now that's for me. I don't know how others do it. Others might do it differently. I also have to put a little bit of oil on top of that. Okay? Just a little bit. It's not too much, guys. I know it might look too much. But it's not. Alright. If you guys can see me. Okay. See that? Now I think I need to turn it around. Woo! 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 Holy moly! Guacamole! Look at that! Guacamole! Wow! And I never rolled this dough like completely because I put a lot of meat. Because this is going to be my meal, guys, okay? I'll cook for myself and then I'll carry the food tomorrow and I'll go back to the hostel, okay? You know, that's how it is, guys. I'll probably, I think on Tuesday, I'll fast. The juicing. Okay? I'm saving you. <laughs> Oh no. You know. Sometimes you get a fast to save money. That's the life, guys. What can we do? So it is. Now I'll just make probably three extra chapatis from this, and that's it, pretty much. Really? It's not that much, okay? As I told you, my friend is coming over, so. She would like to eat chapati. She only eat one. She won't eat that much. <laughs> you know. So yeah. Alright, I think paratha is almost ready, guys. Almost ready. I hope you guys are excited to see the paratha for the first time ever on KETV at KTV Vlogs. Alright. If you guys want to see more cooking videos, let me know in the comments what should I cook next. I can cook anything and everything. Okay. Now the point of this channel is not about cooking guys. Okay. This is just a part of my life. Okay. I'll be uploading more videos so I'll do a variety of stuff. Okay guys. My main goal is to travel all around the world and just experience different cultures now. I like that. That's something that I really want to do guys. You know, experience different cultures. Uh, meet up with different people all around the world. It's really nice in my opinion, you know. You get to learn more, you know. It's very nice. And also, it's good for your brain as well. You know? So if you guys can speak another language or try and study another language and speak it, it's super powerful. Don't be stuck with just English. I know English is an international language, but you have some countries that cannot speak English. Go to Colombia, go to any other country, they can't speak English. Go to learn Spanish, you can't speak Spanish. But uh, that is part of my goal as well. I'd like to speak Spanish. But I'm in Ireland right now, guys. When you're in uh, Europe, well, probably I can go to, probably I can go to France. Sorry, not France. Jesus. I can go to Spain and uh, learn the language. But for now, we're here, guys. Let's take one step at a time. I will definitely be in France. Okay? That's for sure. Do not worry about that. Uh, I think this parada is definitely ready. I need to have a plate here. See that? Nice parada. I gotta give a thumbnail, guys. Well, the camera switched off. Hi, right, guys. My camera switched off because it's too hot. I'm not sure why. This GoPro is crazy, guys. The battery goes out very fast. And it's a GoPro 11, you know? Now, let's test out uh, this paratha here. So usually some people try to cut it. I'm not gonna do that. I'll just eat it as it is. You can know, just bite a little bit because there's meat everywhere. All right, guys? I want good lighting because this lighting here is a little bit weird, guys. Anyway, let's do this, guys. The paratha's right here. Mmm. I swear to God, bro. Mm. If only I had those green pepper, yellow pepper, and red pepper, Jesus. the meat will be more juicy and more. You know what I mean? But this is so good, but this is. Oh, 
うんうんうんうんうわあ青いまおや One of the best, well, one of my favorite foods, really. Super nice. All right, guys, so that should be it. My camera switched off one more time, so be sure to like, subscribe. If it's your first time watching this video, please subscribe. Welcome to KETV. Leave a like, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Let's see that again.